Hello. Today I have a um, <clears throat> Euro cylinder, six pin, unbranded, all brass. Um, it's like there's a steel pin in there. And this I've picked it several times. The uh, first couple of times, I think it's like forty minutes, thirty minutes. Then I got like a, a three minute open um, picking it. Then it got like another twenty five minute pick. It's all a bit weird. Um, but then I figured. Um, so inconsistent so i thought this is a great lot to try a, a different picking technique than we normally see so i thought what i would try is the andy mac way of picking so i'm going to rake it a little bit with this and then i'm going to try single pin picking using the humps on the rake so let's give this a little go works for andy mac i have tried this off camera and it did work once So we break it so I get a bit of movement. So now we try single pin picking, which is using the humps on the rake. Oh, I've got it already. Oh, that was that, that's quicker than I did it before. I've got to confess. Oh, oh, oh. it worked. It's the first time I actually tried that and got a successful uh, open. In comes the pinning tray and took the clip off to try to speed up. Let's try this. Ooh, maybe not that one. Um, let's try this one. I can't believe we got that so quick. So I was like raking it and then single pin picking it. Um, using the rake. Normally we rake and then we'll get kind of a we'll get a, a single pin picking tool and we'll normally pick it but um, I thought I'd try it with the, the Andy Magway. I'm quite pleased I got that. Tried a couple of times and never managed to get locks open so which way have I got this aiming? So I am really pleased I've got that. And I'm dying to see what's in this lock because it was difficult um, to single pin pick it. Looking how deep Focus on that. So deep those pins are inside the chambers. This would make a great challenge lock, I think. So uh, anyway, let's further do. Without further ado, let's get these out. Two, three, oh, four, five, and six. So look at the chambers. It's, I think it's just a start lock. out just get all these pins lined up let's do it with the fingers who, who needs who needs a pin and tweezers six pins okay let's get this out and there's the front there's the back yakety yak um let's go What? Okay, that's it. Whoa, I'm going to show you that in a minute. I have actually come across, that's like a, half a spool. What's that one? That's the same. Are they all going to be like that? I'm going to show you that. Oh, that's a standard. Long standard pin, that. Ooh. Another standard for. Five standard and six. Standard. So look at these springs. Got two springs uh, kissing in the uh, Bible there. Five and six. Okay. Okay, the, the Bible is standard as well. Let's very quickly put these pins in place. And there we go. I'm going to do a little bit of a zoom in and a focus. 
Now, can you see those pins? The spooled on one side and the not spooled on the other. It's like a standard pin on the other side. Turn it over. Can you see that? I have come across that before and I can't think where. And that one looks like a standard spool, but standard pin. And so you turn it over and it's got another uh, almost like half spooled. And these are the all um, standard pins. I've no idea why that was difficult to pick. Was it those two pins? I have no idea. Okay, there you go. Um, yep, and I was right, steel pin in number one. There you go. An unusual way of uh, picking lock. We're going to go um, rake it and then single pin pick using the rake. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. You have a nice day and I'll catch you again soon. Bye bye now. Bye bye.